Good morning. Welcome to Casa Texpina. We're on build day number 32. Um, guys are working on additional exterior walls today. Uh, more hollow block walls. Um, they are starting to go up. So we're moving up today. Uh, moving up, they're putting in, um, they're using scaffolding uh, to start, go, um, start going above the fourth uh, course of block. Uh, the engineer came out yesterday afternoon and marked out where all of the doors and windows are going to go uh, so that they know where to leave the openings uh, for those fixtures. So <clears throat> that's what I'm expecting for most of the day. Uh, let's go ahead and get started and see what they're doing. So this morning they're working on the scaffolding. Uh, they will be starting to go up from the uh, fourth course of hollow block. Um, you can see the red marks on the walls. Those are throughout the floor plan where the engineer came by yesterday afternoon and marked all the windows and door openings. Um, they are also continuing to backfill. So they're bringing in <coughs> bucket loads of uh, fill material to bring the uh, <clears throat> to bring the area up to uh, floor grade or just shy of floor grade um, so that we can put in a uh, base course and uh, get it all tamped down all compacted for <clears throat> putting in the floor uh, once all the walls are done so first first priority is walls uh, floors will follow after the walls Take a quick walk around. Again, mixing uh, mixing mortar. Uh, they are going to be doing a lot of uh, mortar work today with all of the hollow block. And then they are also these gentlemen over here in the corner are using the uh, <clears throat> the bubble level uh, and a, via a hose to lay out where the heights of the elevations for each course of hollow block as they come along this wall. Gentlemen are also starting to put together the forms that they're going to need for uh, the columns. Uh, when we start moving up a little higher, they'll uh, once they get the walls up high enough, they'll come back with the forms, put them around the columns, and then we'll uh, they'll pour the rest of the column up to, to above the first floor level. Go take a quick walk around and see where things are, how things are progressing. Uh, this is along the uh, mother-in-law's suite. Uh, so we're up about four, five courses of block. Uh, that was just done this morning. And they are putting tie rods every third row. Then along. The garage and also the bedroom number two and into the walk-in closet space here along the front so he's making the spaces now for where the uh, windows need to go so there'll be one uh, window on either side of uh, this column here so there'll be a window here where he's leaving the space and there'll be a window on the other side of the column as well uh, right here okay continuing to walk the way around still got runners with the mortar <clears throat> Two gentlemen are still moving fill material into into place throughout the house. Uh, looks like they've been primarily focusing on the uh, master suite uh, today. <clears throat> Mr. Alex and Mr. Manny here uh, working on the uh, additional columns that are going in the great room that will separate the great room from the hallway. So they're putting the forms on those. They'll probably, I'm not sure exactly when they're gonna look to pour those, but I'll let you know and I'll show you. Um, all right, Mr. Wilson over here, Mr. Wilson is um, working on the wall in the kitchen. 
separating the wall from the, the kitchen from the, the pantry area as well as the hallway. Um, actually where Mr. Wilson is standing, the right next to him is going to be the refrigerator. So it'll sit behind in that, that little niche. So they're setting up uh, boards now to, to sh for guides so he knows where to stop the hollow block as he's building. And then our two busy guys over here. This is Mr. Justin and Mr. Jericho. Uh, they've been working on the walls for the uh, between the great room and the master suite. Uh, notice Mr. Justin is leaving two openings for um, this is going to be the windows on either side uh, looking out from the the master suite onto the back patio and then these walls uh, just separating the great room and the master suite they've gone uh, long distance today they went from um, three courses of block yesterday um, to quite a few just this morning uh, they've gone up at least uh, looks like six courses uh, right now that they've gone up well while the guys are wrapping up and getting ready to go to lunch um, we're gonna go ahead and take our chance and go to lunch too um, I think we're gonna run by the uh, VFW uh, in town today they've uh, got a really good menu they serve breakfast lunch and dinner um, they've also got a, a small sports bar and most important thing they've got a mail room um, so we get our um, American mail via that system um, unfortunately it's only limited to letter size packages things less than 16 ounces but it's still a godsend when it comes to try to get a debit card uh, a new debit card replaced um, get any kind of uh, official mail going that's the way to do it um, so let's go ahead and head over to the VFW for lunch all right this is the uh, VFW in Angeles uh, actually it's in Balibago area uh, corner of Pinatubo Street this is behind the uh, or close to the old Clarkton Hotel um, they got a restaurant inside it's called the the lamp post lots of folks here the lamp post uh, the restaurants actually fairly good um, so the lamp post also has a, an outside seating area uh, for those guys that do um, prefer to be able to smoke when they eat or if just want to sit out and have a beer and watch people go by good hangout they hold monthly meetings first Wednesday of the month 2 p.m. it's always marked on the door as soon as you walk in <laughs> lots of different choices for foods Breakfast, lunch, dinner, merienda, whatever you want. Okay, so the food came in. This is Bicol Express. Mm -hmm. It's uh, pork chunks with uh, coconut, milk. coconut milk, chili peppers, and this one looks like it's got green beans in it. Um, mom's eating uh, sizzling chicken fajitas. And I've got the American style, of course, chicken, uh, chicken fried steak with uh, corn and mashed potatoes. Looks good, we'll tell you. It's done, we're full. Don't let the uh, food on the plate uh, fool you. Uh, they serve really large portions here uh, for a decent price. Um, for instance, mine, the, the chicken fried steak uh, combo was 380 pesos today. Uh, that comes out to, if you're converting it over to, to dollars, in US dollars that's gonna run just shy of um, just shy of eight dollars so really good good portions for the size uh, for what you're paying and the food's good all right we're back on site right after lunch they're making more mortar still building walls we're starting to see where the uh, windows are gonna be at those are the two windows on the north wall for the bedroom number two. Let's uh, continue walking the rest of the way around. Okay. Mr. 
and Lori's still working film. Looks like uh, Mr. Jericho is building, or uh, they've decided to move the scaffolding and they're getting ready to start working on the master's closet. They've got the forms up for the posts inside the great room. And they had gone up an additional, oh, let's see, where'd they start this morning? They were at three this, or oh, four this morning. They've gone up an additional six courses of concrete, well, six courses of hollow block. And it looks like they're gonna move the scaffolding and head around two different directions here. Let's go look and see where they're going. Yep, they're putting in scaffolding for the the west side of the masters. This will be the back side of the uh, bedroom. And Mr. Jericho is building the scaffolding also on the other side uh, to start working in the kitchen. Oh, I'm sorry, kitchen. In the master's closet. And they're also working. Looks like they've been building this wall here in the middle for the, uh, the master's bath area as well. So, master's bedroom, master's suite is going to be, looks like it's going to be closed in <clears throat> by the end of today or tomorrow. We'll have to see how, how quickly they work. We've got lots of progress. Lots of progress. Okay, so something you don't normally see on most hollow block construction walls here in the Philippines that our engineer is doing a little differently is putting a lentil beam 
uh, above the windows. So we're using uh, concrete and rebar, the same as we did for the grade beams. Um, and they're gonna put that above the lintel beam for the windows. Guys are still continuing with the hollow block. This is on the dirty kitchen. They're working uh, three of the five sides. where Mr. Ben over here is working. He has a window that he has to contend with, so he's gotta find out where the window's at, make sure not to block that in. Um, Mr. Oliver there in the middle has gotten above the level to where he can do it from the ground, so he's already working from scaffolding, as is Mr. Marvin uh, here in the hallway. Mr. Wilson, Still working in the kitchen area and they are he is continuing to move up so he's already done four courses of hollow block along the kitchen wall separating the kitchen from the pantry and they're looking to go up a little higher um, he's setting his um, guide wires and uh, rebars so that he knows how high to make each course Also continuing hollow block in the master suite is Mr. Jericho over here so again as well working on scaffolding uh, to get this up to the right level. Uh, this is on the front edge of the house so this is the the east face of the, the house. Uh, there will be a small window um, up here somewhere. It's just a peek through window. Uh, just to let light into the the closet area so it's not dark and danky. And then Mr. Um, <coughs> Mr. Justin is working the back wall. The west facing wall that goes into the, the main master bedroom. So we've got the large window there in the middle that they're propping up. Um, and then rebarring, um, hollow blocking around the rest of that. Looks like the uh, engineer just showed up on site. So let me go chit chat with him and see what's, what's new. They are building around where the windows are going to go, building up to the lintel beam, which will be the top of all the windows. So that, that elevation will be the same height for all of the windows all the way around the house. That's the top of them. Um, Mr. Alex here is also putting on the forms um, for the column here in the great room. Um, I believe they're supposed to look at pouring these probably tomorrow since we've already got the hollow block wall done on each side, they'll go ahead and pull this up and get it, uh, get it, get it formed up today and then pour it tomorrow. Same thing with uh, the one here on the end. I believe they'll pour both of these tomorrow. Let's walk around and look and see what else they got. Still working through the kitchen. We've got the whole kitchen up to fourth. Uh, course of block and he's now working course number five and on Let's see what we got going over here in the dirty kitchen <clears throat> Dirty kitchen's got the window located for the exterior window And they're working the course courses of hollow block the rest of the way around So this is the wall where you see mr. Marvin over here with the white hat He's at the wall between the dirty kitchen and the garage. Well, that's a close for Casa Texpina, build day number 32. Uh, we had a very busy day. You see all the walls that have gone up. Um, had a couple columns poured as well, uh, two posts in the uh, great room. Um, so we'll see how those turn out tomorrow uh, when they take the forms off. 
Um, actually, the, the one column on the wall between the great room and the master's uh, suite uh, will continue tomorrow. Uh, quitting time and um, concrete both ran out the same time frame and they decided to just uh, continue tomorrow. So we've got brick walls, hollow, br uh, hollow block brick walls, uh, pretty much all over the house. Big change from this morning. So, um, that's it for today. If you like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Please comment below. You can always use the uh, constructive feedback. Uh, also, if you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button or the Costa Tex Pina star in the bottom right hand corner and you will be subscribed. Also, if you'd like to know when the next video is uploaded for your viewing pleasure, uh, please hit the bell icon below the viewing screen and you'll be notified when our next video has been uploaded. Until then, have a great afternoon and God bless. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please hit like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available.